In this video, we're going to go over the common ion effect. The best way to understand how the common ion effect is really to take a look at examples. So we have two examples we're going to go over. And the first one, the question is, what happens to the amount of dissolved calcium carbonate if calcium chloride is added to solution? So since we're talking about dissolved calcium carbonate, that implies that we already have a solution with some calcium carbonate dissolved into that solution. And now the question is, if we add calcium chloride to this solution, what's going to happen to the amount of dissolved calcium carbonate? Well, the way for you to think about it is to apply Le Chatelier's principle. And that is, calcium chloride is going to dissolve and dissociate to form calcium ions and chloride ions. So addition of calcium chloride will add calcium ions and chloride ions to solution. Now since the common ion effect is talking about the common ion, that's really what you want to focus on. So here the common ion is not chloride because calcium carbonate does not have a chloride, but calcium is the common ion. So if this adds calcium to solution, Think of this as Le Chatelier's principle. So if you were to add calcium, that means the concentration of calcium would increase. And if you're adding a product, then that's going to make your reaction shift to the left. If your reaction shifts to the left, that means you're forming more solid calcium carbonate. So that means less calcium carbonate will be dissolved in solution. So that means addition of calcium carbonate will decrease the solubility of calcium carbonate. So let's write this out. So the increase in calcium concentration will shift the reaction to the left. And this will decrease the amount of dissolved calcium carbonate. So the main idea here with the, cal with the common ion effect is if you're looking at the solubility of some salt in solution, if you add a common ion, that's going to reduce the solubility of that salt. So we're gonna make that point. Addition of a common ion will decrease solubility. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at our other example. So in our second example, we're asking a similar question, what happens to the amount of dissolved calcium carbonate if HCl is added to solution? Now, this one's a little bit trickier because HCl has hydrogen and chlorine and neither is a common ion with calcium carbonate. So this one requires a little bit more thinking. Now, what you know is that HCl is a strong acid, so it's gonna dissociate to form H plus and Cl minus in solution. What you should actually recognize in calcium carbonate is that carbonate is a weak base. So if you have a base and you add an acid, you're going to get a neutralization reaction. So the carbonate is going to react with H plus in solution to form bicarbonate. And when you form bicarbonate, you are removing carbonate in solution. So if you decrease the concentration of carbonate in solution, that's gonna shift the reaction to the right so more calcium carbonate is going to be dissolved. So to explain this, we're gonna say that the addition of HCl results in the formation of bicarbonate. And when you form bicarbonate, this is going to decrease the concentration of carbonate. And 
if you decrease the concentration of carbonate, uh, the reaction then shifts to the right. And when it shifts to the right, that means more calcium carbonate dissolves in solution. So here, it's essentially the opposite of our first example. In the first example, when you added a common ion, you decreased the solubility. But if you did the opposite, if you remove a common ion, then that's going to increase the solubility. So we can say here that removal of a common ion will increase solubility. All right, and that's how the common ion effect works.